introducing a powerful, automated image generation workflow built with precision using N8N. This system runs around the clock, producing an incredible 1,920 high-quality images every 24 hours. And the best part? It does all that at a cost of only $2 per day. Whether you're building stock libraries or scaling creative assets, this workflow delivers speed, scale, and unbeatable value. Let's dive in and see how it works. First, we have the Prompt Generator. It creates highly detailed image prompts using GPT-40 Mini. Next is the main workflow, the Adobe Stock Workflow, which generates the images, creates metadata, and saves them in Google Drive. And finally, the Error Logger. Together, these workflows create a smooth, scalable content pipeline, perfect for stock creators, print-on-demand sellers, or AI artists. In this part of the system, we're laying the foundation for automated content creation. This is the Text Prompt Generator, a workflow designed to create rich, AI-ready prompts based on simple ideas. These prompts are the starting point for generating stock images later on. Automation Kickoff Every three minutes, you can choose your own intervals. The system checks for new prompts to process using the schedule trigger. This keeps the engine running continuously in the background. Next, we use a function node to convert the current time into your time zone. That's used to create neatly labeled folders and spreadsheets. For example, Adobe Stock, Year, Month, Date. We then format this date string, storing it as a variable so we can use it throughout the workflow to name folders, sheets, and tags consistently. Prompt Collection The workflow now connects to Google Sheets to fetch a new prompt marked as Images Created Equals No. This prevents duplicate processing. Using JavaScript, we extract only the necessary data, the row number and the actual text prompt, which we'll send to our image generation model shortly. This is the unique part of this workflow. Folder and sheet setup. Sheet blueprint templates will be provided once you get this workflow. Before generating any images, the system checks if a Google Drive folder for today already exists. If it doesn't, it automatically create one inside our main Adobe Stock directory. If it checks and finds that folder marked today exists, it moves to the next step. Similarly, it checks for a Google Sheet that will hold the metadata for today's images. If it's missing, it creates one by copying from a blueprint template. This is provided once you get the workflow. Remember, if it checks and finds that this sheet exists, it moves to the next step. We then store the IDs for both the folder and the sheet. These IDs are used to direct all files and data to the correct places. Merging data. Now that we have the folder and sheet prepared, we merge all essential information, the prompt, the folder ID, and the sheet ID into one clean data object. We format the payload, adding a carefully crafted negative prompt to help the AI avoid generating poor quality results like distortions, watermark artifacts, or off-looking faces. Image generation. We now send the prompt to PI API using the Flux.1 Schnell model an affordable and highly effective image generator. This model returns four visually rich photorealistic images per run. This model is not only cost-effective, but also efficient. After submitting the generation task, we wait 20 seconds to give the model time to complete the job. 
Once the wait is over, we check the task status again after every 5 seconds. If the images are ready, we download them. If not, the workflow waits and checks again. Image Preparation We split the list of image URLs so we can process each one individually. Each image is downloaded and passed through a compression step. The compressed version is sent to GPT-40 Mini, which is a fast, reliable model designed to understand image content and generate precise descriptive metadata. This step is crucial. Instead of writing titles and tags manually, the AI analyzes the visual content of each image and generates a structured metadata package. This includes a clean and searchable file name, a short but descriptive title, a relevant category for classification, and a curated list of 25 optimized keywords. These keywords are tailored for discoverability on platforms like Adobe Stock, helping your images get found and sold more easily. Metadata Logging After generating and formatting the metadata, it's time to store everything in a structured, trackable format. This is where Google Sheets comes in. Each image's metadata, including the file name, title, category, and all 25 keywords, is sent to a dedicated Google Sheet specifically created for the day. The sheet acts as a central repository and log, recording exactly what was created, when it was generated, and what tags were applied. This kind of structured logging is more than just good organization. It makes your creative output searchable, traceable, and easy to audit later. You can filter images by theme, category, or date, and export the metadata if you're uploading to other platforms. It also means you can confidently say, here's exactly what I've created today. Without digging through folders or emails, it's instant creative accountability. And because it's automatically populated, there's zero manual entry. The data you see in the sheet is exactly what the AI generated, formatted in a way that's ready for platforms like Adobe Stock, Shutterstock, or your own digital asset manager. We break the metadata into individual items and clean up the structure so it's easy to log and apply to file names. We also assign a sequential number to each image. This helps keep things organized and gives us a consistent way to name files. In parallel, we upscale each original image to 2500 by 2500 pixels, ideal for Adobe Stock and other high-resolution platforms. Finally, we merge the resized image and the formatted metadata into a single object ready for upload. Final Touches and Upload The file names are then sanitized, all lowercase with underscores instead of spaces, and no special characters. This ensures compatibility with cloud storage systems. The final images are uploaded to the correct Google Drive folder. At the same time, we log the metadata to our Google Sheet, making it easy to track what was created and when. We also return to the original prompt sheet and mark that row as complete, updating it with images created yes. And finally, a Telegram message is sent to notify that a new batch of images has been successfully generated and uploaded, handling errors. Of course, not every process runs perfectly every time. If something fails, maybe a metadata parsing error or a missing image URL, we have a dedicated error logger workflow. It captures the name of the failed workflow, the exact node that caused the error, the message, the timestamp, and even the failed input. This data is logged to a dedicated error tracking sheet. That way, we can review issues later 
and improve the system continuously. Get the complete package with documentation, templates, and bonus tools. Link in description.